Hey everybody, this is Tammy at All About Living and welcome to our outdoor kitchen. Today we're going to make hush puppies. Real southern, perfect little crispy hush puppies. Alright, so y'all come on over here and I'll show you what you need to make these hush puppies. Okay, for ease of this video today, I, and so you wouldn't have to watch me walk all over the place and get my ingredients, I'm just going to tell you what they are. I have a cup and a half of yellow cornmeal. I got a quarter of a cup of flour. I got a teaspoon of salt. I got a teaspoon of baking soda. And I have two teaspoons of baking powder. I have one egg and I have a half of a good size onion and some buttermilk. And we're going to get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is braid that onion. And I don't want you to slice it. You know, just, I mean, you could. I mean, you absolutely could. But the secret to getting all that sweet, wonderful flavor into those hush puppies is to get this onion to where it'll release juices. And I'm going to take them big pieces out because I don't want them. And I want to make sure I get all of it. It's nice and wet and it's releasing its juice and that's what I want. See there's a big chunk and I don't want that. Okay, let's get these dry ingredients into our bowl. Camera can't see what I'm doing. Alright, now we're going to get all that really well combined. Make sure that baking powder is all in there and the salt and the baking soda. I think that's pretty good. Now we're going to add our onions. Get all that goodness in there. Okay. We're going to add an egg. And then I'm going to start with about a cup of buttermilk. And then we're going to see how that takes us. Yeah, because on any given day with humidity or heat or cold or anything else, it'll take less liquid. And that's a little too, that's thick. That's pretty thick, so we're going to add just a little bit at a time, like a couple of tablespoons at a time. All right, and I'm going to add one more tablespoon to that. Okay, and it's going to look like that. It's going to pour off the spoon. Don't get upset or worried that you got it too loose because what you're going to do is you're just now going to let that sit right there for 10 minutes and let it rise. Okay, everybody, my 10 minutes is up. And see how much that's rose up in that bowl? It's nice and look at that. Now it's thick but not so thick that it, I mean, it should be airy. 
should be nice and airy. And we're going to bring that over to the stove. All right, we're going to get started. And we're just going to drop that just like that. See, it's bubbling. That grease is good and hot. And you don't want to overcrowd your pan. You just want to put a few in here at a time. And I just drop mine. I mean, some people get all fancy and use ice cream scoops and cookie dough things. I just drop it right on in. Guess we'll do one more. There we go. And the little bitty pieces, these little bitty pieces in here, those are good too. You get to eat those while you're waiting on your hush puppies. That's a cook snack. Get these good. Look, see how light and fluffy, and they turn the most beautiful golden brown and crispy. Floating good. Oh, nope, not quite. Let's leave it. Oh, leave it on. Leave it on that side for just a little longer. Because you want that brown on both sides. That way you're sure it'll be done inside. And now those little bitty pieces that's the cook special. We're gonna go ahead and take those out. Now we're going to take one over here to the plate and open it up and make sure they're done and I'll show you what they look like. All right, let's get this over here and open her up. Oh yeah. Ow. Yep, she's done. Fluffy. Yep. We're done. So we're going to pull the rest of them out. Oh, Randy's got his hand out. So here we go. <laughs> All right, let's go get these. You can make a whole lot of hush puppies for a little bit of money. I mean, you probably don't have, oops, probably don't even have 50 cents. Well, I don't know, with egg prices, if you don't have your own eggs, it might be a little more than that. Let's go with 75 cents. and 10 minutes of your time and you have a perfectly good bread for dinner with beans, with collards, with fish, with chicken, with butter. Oh, let me tell you, two things you have to try in this life before you die. You need hush puppies, with guava jelly or honey butter. Bar none. That's like a little tiny piece of heaven. So, there's your word to the wise. Before you die, make sure that you've tried homemade hush puppies with guava jelly or honey butter. I can't decide which one's my favorite, but I got to have one or the other every time I have hush puppies. There may not be none for dinner. Randy's back here eating them as fast as I can take them out of the grease. All right. If you like a sweeter hush puppy, you know, add a little sugar. If you like them more savory, add you a little bit more onion. 
you could actually, if you wanted to, you could make hush puppies a meal and you could take you some leftover boiled shrimp from another night and chop those little pieces of shrimp up and drop them right, you know, mix them right on into your batter and you'd have shrimp fried hush puppies. And that is good too. Not as good as the jelly though, let me tell you. Not as good as the jelly. All right, that's our last batch. All right, thanks everybody for being with me in my kitchen and going along with me while I make my hush puppies. Y'all, if you liked anything you saw, come back and see us. Like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time. Bye.